so this is low beam. This is high beam. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a quick little video for you guys. I've been having quite a bit of issues with like going with HIDs. I have HIDs in for my uh, for my low beams and I have LEDs for my high beams and then I have HIDs for my fog lights. So I had a company that ended up sending me out some new going just full LED JDM A-Star. They were must have seen one of my videos and they're like, hey, I've seen that you're having quite a bit of issues uh, with HIDs, why not try out LEDs? They're just as bright and they don't take as much power because a lot of times whenever I go and turn my headlights on or my fog lights on, I get some flickering issues. If you guys were to want to try these out, um, you can use my promo code, Ryan underscore 10, I'll leave it right here on the screen and it'll save you guys 10% if you guys wanna check these things out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my front bumper and take out these other headlights and stuff. Alright guys, front bumper is off. You don't have to specifically take off your front bumper every single time. And you don't have to do it on just my car. You know what I mean? Like they're for every single car. You just got to make sure that you're getting the right uh, size bulb. Alrighty guys, and if you don't know like what the difference is. So like they, they gave me like a decoder and stuff too. So like this would be like a, like if your lights might flicker. Um, they went ahead and gave me these also. But they said that most likely I won't need them. Um, but they gave them to me anyways just in case and then they gave you a whole bunch of like like these strips depending on the color that you actually want to run in your headlights you can be like a blue it's just like so you can run just like HIDs where you get 3,000, 43, 65, 8,000K and 10,000K the LED so it's got like a fan and stuff built into it super heavy duty it's all metal compared to an HID, so I'm trying not to touch this bulb. So like a, with an HID, this is what an HID looks like. One, it doesn't burn as hot as an HID. And if you go and look at my fog lights right now, if I get real close, if I can get this thing to focus in, see all these little tiny bubbles? That's the bubbles on the inside of my fog light housing. That's from my HID melting the housing on the inside. And if you guys are working on uh, 2017 uh, Subaru WRX, if you guys are, um, the fog lights, I don't know if you can even see this on here, they're H11, see the little red dot. The fog lights for, I think probably any Subaru, um, is an H11, and then for my high beams, they're a 9005, so 9005. Now I just needed to uh, go ahead and just take out my HIDs from my fog lights and get them all, get all this wiring and stuff out um, because you won't need any of this other stuff. It'll plug in. These should just plug straight into the original um, OEM harness, but mine right now has um, another ballast and it's plugged into a different, uh, a different harness to make the HIDs work. So, there it goes. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and just plug these in before I actually plug them into the bumper. Make sure that they fit. You'll see there's a little notch on this side, but not on the other side. So that goes into where it actually connects. Just like that. Alrighty guys, both of them are plugged in. That one's plugged in. That one's plugged in. Let's start this thing up and uh, see if the fog lights work. If they do, and we'll move on to the headlights. All right, now I'm just gonna move on to the uh, the brights because if you see in there, I have I have LEDs in there too, but they're like cheapy ones. I don't I don't know. I did paint my uh, my housing whenever I redid my headlights. I painted those like a like a yellow, um, so that took a lot of like the brightness away. So I don't even really even use my brights, but I mean if, if these other LEDs make it where they actually work a lot better and might as well so and there's only like three little tiny LEDs on each side this thing has like all kinds of freaking LEDs all around it and it's just all made out of plastic this is all made out of metal and I don't know maybe that's just why it doesn't didn't really have the output that I thought it would have I guess and actually you know what I'm not going to uh, throw like any strip on there at all because I mean this is already like painted yellow and I want it to be bright as, as bright as possible so I think with no tent strip on it at all would obviously be the brightest right so Alrighty guys, those things are so freaking bright. I mean, I'm not really gonna be able to tell until it's dark, um, but fog lights work, uh, brights work, no flickering whatsoever, that instantly uh, came right on. So that's so freaking, that's so dope because before my, uh, my HIDs, were, they'd always flicker until they warmed up. You know, and that, I was used to that, but you know, this is nice that I don't have to deal with that. So, um, they look freaking fantastic. They turned out really, really good. Um, they're definitely just as bright as a HID. Like, but I will go ahead and uh, this is what they look like at night. Okay, so this is low beam. This is high beam. Alrighty, here is just regular low beams with the fog lights. 
fog lights are pretty insane. And then here's Bright's. Bright's make a pretty drastic improvement, especially over what they were before. So, pretty impressed. The fog lights are just shine up the entire road. And hopefully, I mean, I think they turned out freaking great. Uh, Bright's turned out a lot better than what I thought they were going to. Um, since I did uh, paint my housing in my headlights, they're not as good as what they could be if you didn't paint your housing. But the fog lights turned out great. I don't have to have any like more flickering or anything like that. I could turn both headlights and fog lights on the exact same time and I don't have any problems. So that's good to know. See you guys. If you guys do want these, like I said, I will link all their stuff down in the description below. Use my promo code Ryan underscore 10. Save your guys' self 10%. Go pick you guys up some. They're freaking awesome. Um, if you guys like the video, man, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Till next time, guys.